Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of 1923 Main Street. Home of the Disney Travel Podcast with the latest Disney Travel news. We are your hosts. I am Mike Bellabratic. And I'm Amelia Bellabratic. And today, Disney has finally announced their new scary photo ops for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Yes, we are here now at Walt Disney World. So next week, we will have some interesting topics to discover as we are looking at a number of things on site. And one of the main things we're doing is visiting this year's Halloween Party 2023 and... Today we're going to talk about some really, really cool photo opportunities, old favorites and new ones that you can get yourself into if you're heading to the party this year. We already said the food this year looks better than ever. And now some of these photo ops, I think, are among the best I've seen here. So let's dive right in. We'll tell you where they are and what they are so you can be sure to make notes not to miss them. Some of these photo ops are, you know, your classic, the CGI throw in. And they some of them look not bad, but they have introduced some new ideas this year, which I think are definitely worth your while, as long as some new editing plans, which I personally am a big fan of. All right, let's go through them one by one, where to find these Disney photo ops and what they are and which ones are new. And you know, it's interesting. We'll talk at the end uh, whether or not you actually use these photos after they're taken. But aside from that, let's, uh, let's go through what's new and where they all are this year. All right, first of all, at multiple locations, there is a new one that I I kind of like. I think it's okay. So if we divided these by eh, and it's okay and really good, this one is in the middle for me. And this one is a photo that, as I said, it's in multiple places. So you can ask the photographers. Don't be, you know, shy to ask them, do you do this photo here? This one has a sort of cartoon evil queen's hand handing you a poison apple with a candle on it. And this is new. And I think this one, well, you said some of the cartoony ones don't look great. When well taken, it can look good. My problem is I'm imagining 7,000 people on Main Street and it's rushed and the lighting's not that great and it kind of comes out looking a bit eh. But in the example photo, it looks not too bad. So it could really go either way, I think, is the problem with these sorts of photos. But they do have potential. This one specifically, it's not too much going on. not too bad. So next up, at the entrance to the park and on Main Street USA, you can have Tinkerbell in your hand some Halloween Mickey balloons, Donald's nephew in costume, or some lonesome ghosts. Now, there's a mix in these, and I'll get, we can get into them later. Of these ones that are new, by the way, some are good, I would say, and some are not. So I'll tell you my favorites right now. You tell me what you think. I think the Tinkerbell in your hand, but Tinkerbell's in costume, right? It's a sort of a fall Halloween-y Tinkerbell. I really like that one. I think it's worth getting. And then the other one is the Mickey balloons. So the classic Mickey balloons shot, but this time the balloons are Halloween balloons. So those two, I think, are quite good. Again, this is at the entrance to the park, sort of inside when you go through the train station. Uh, entrance to the park and then up on Main Street a little bit because it starts there. Donald's nephews in costume, they're sort of, this is what we mean by the bad ones, <laughs> the bad cartoon implementation. It just looks like a bad Photoshop job, in my opinion. And also, so do the lonesome ghosts. They're sort of black and white ghosts, like silly ones flying over your head. Cute for your little ones, maybe not going to impress any of your adult friends. Yeah, if they're kids, yeah, those two, uh, the good point. Those are kids suitable, I think. I mean, anything is anything, but we're critiquing here. If you want to get certain ones, we're just giving it to you from our perspective. Yeah, I have photos I've been impressed by. So far, we've not seen them. Next up, at Town Square near the flagpole, you will find a return photo. And this is if you want a picture of yourself holding a Mickey-shaped pumpkin, then that is uh, right there by the flagpole just when you come inside the park. That one, personally, I think is good. I th- believe it's a real pumpkin, and it looks it looks just quite yes, nice. Yes, good point. It's not like a, <laughs> they fake one in your hand. It's a prop pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, but it, it looks quite nice. Yeah, it's I think, a pretty good looking one. In my opinion, it's cute. It has a Mickey face on it. Pretty cute jack-o'-lantern. And again, the example photo, the lighting's quite good. So I would get this photo. Next up, we have some spots in front of Cinderella Castle and just around that area. There is the fire pumpkin. Yeah, so this one I think is uh, animation. 
or maybe not animation, but a cartoon version. Yeah, I d- it, definitely, I believe it's animation. I don't, I'm not sure, but I don't think they're going to hand you a pumpkin on fire. Mm-hmm. So this one. It I, might be a little bit over the edge of the not so scary part of the evening. This is another one of those middle of the road. It could look okay. Yeah, I've seen, again, their example photo looks not too bad, but again, done wrong. It could look quite cartoonish. It is, in my opinion, a bit better than the ones like the ghosts and Donald's nephews. But again, the CGI really at this point in time can't compete with the real thing. It looks sort of cheap, in my opinion. But that's just me personally. If you like them, go ahead and check them out. There are some pretty interesting designs to choose from. Now, next up is a spot where there's a returning and a new. So... The new one, this is in Casey's Corner. So, you know, Casey's Corner, the end of Main Street, just before the hub to the left, there's some gardens behind it where the seating is. That's where this photo is by the, and also by the Plaza Restaurant. So uh, sort of on either side. And this one, you're standing sort of in a pumpkin patch. What do you think of this one? Not too bad. It's not ranking at the top of any tier list, but it's also not at the bottom. Yeah. They're, and- the pumpkins are kind of at the side of your frame. They look cute. Yeah, it's okay. There's like stacked cartoony pumpkins, but they don't look silly cartoony. They're trying to make them look real. Again, your little ones will probably think this one's fun. So give it a shot for sure. Now, also in this area is one of my personal favorites that we have done before on Main Street. We have a really good picture of this ourselves. Really? I was just about to say for anyone over the age of 10, skip it. Oh, I love this one. All right, you let us know what you think. This is you over the cauldron, sort of conjuring the cauldron. And it's an animate, you know, I mean, it's a cartoon cauldron. But I like this photo. And we have a family one with all three of us when this was on Main Street. Now it is positioned in front of the Plaza Restaurant or by Casey's. Yes. So you decide. Check it out. One thing I want to mention, props to whoever did the photo shoot for their example photos. I've noticed a lot of these photos with questionable animation are taken at night. So if you want to get these photos, I might, if you can, wait until it gets dark. Yeah, that's a good point. they tend to look better in the dark, especially this one, the cauldron's black. Yeah. If so you, it blends in more. If you enter the, you know, early or at 7 p.m., it's not quite pitch black out yet, right? So yeah. You, that is a very, very good point. As much as you can, hold off on your photos until it actually yeah. is dark. If that's something you care about, I think it tends to look black. I think it's fun to get once, or if your kids are little and they think it looks really cool, I just don't think you need to do it again and again. Now, over by Liberty Square and the Hall of Presidents, we have some classics. The Hitchhiking Ghosts, it, this is a pretty good shot, and the Headless Horseman. I mean, these two are really pretty good photos, and they're well worth getting. If there's not a huge line. There are lines for these two, oh, yeah. so you want to factor that in. The Headless Horseman is it's animated in, but it's a real horse. So this photo looks not bad. And the Hitchhiking Ghost is one of these ones that I would say it's worth it to get because if you've ridden the Haunted Mansion, they are cartoony. That's yeah. kind of the and whole it, point. It looks exactly like so those it looks, ghosts, right? So it's, it looks like that. It's which, probably the same <laughs> actual frame. I would say, honestly, this is one of the best ones to get if you like them just CGI throwing in stuff to your photos. So. And nearby at the Haunted Mansion is a classic shot. And yes. this uses a real prop again. Yes, this one I'm a big fan of. So this is the in front of the Haunted Mansion holding a lantern. They might ask you to throw some expression on your face. As they always do. Yes, it's fairly close up. It's got a good background, again, taken at night by the Disney photographers. But I think it looks quite good. It's an action shot. As I would like to say, so I would definitely say this one's worth getting. And there's a little tip I will give you that, you know, what you just said, Amelia, about they're going to do an expression. Now, there is one, let's talk about it right now. In at the there's It's in two spots, sort of at the castle walls. And this is one where they'll say to you, look scared, right? And it's a cartoon Maleficent's dragon sort of breathing fire on you. But I think it would look even better if you had almost like a wizard, like an evil look and your hand out, like you're pushing him away. So there's too many of those look afraid. They tend to go to that. Look surprised. Look scared. This photo, what do you think? Do you agree that this photo would look just as good with your hand, like you're holding him off with yeah. your power? Also, I think that or that's... her, actually. <laughs> it's Maleficent, after all. That's true. It's something different. You don't want to... All of these photos do tend to be the same expression, so I definitely think you could mix it up. It's yeah. it's your photo. The photographer is just tr- 
Yeah, you can always ask. Helping you out so up front. Well, if they tell you to look up and look afraid, even in front of the haunted mansion, if you look evil instead, you know, it, it gives a different aura. So let's mix it up. Mm. Don't always have to take direction if you have an idea of yeah. what's coming. One of my favorite things to do at the Halloween party is just act however my character or whoever I'm dressed up as would act. That's what I would always do when I was little. Now, if you want one that's just fun, one or two that are just sort of fun, very light, no characters, no scariness, maybe for the kids and stuff. Head over to the Storybook Circus area. It makes sense. That's where it is. Not far from the Barnstormer. Yeah, some of these are quite cute. There's one in sort of in front of what I assume is like a fiery wall, but it's just like a little squiggle. I don't really know. It's not very clear what it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, it's just <laughs> Halloween-y colors, I guess. But it's a cute photo. And then the next one I actually like. It's in front of the circus sign with like a disco ball of Mickey's all around. And this one looks quite nice. I would actually consider getting this one. This one would be my favorite so far. Yeah, it has the storybook circus sign in the back or just the word circus. So yeah. a little bit of light-hearted Halloween. It's now, not trying to be scary, but it's a good photo. Sorry. If you like the purple wall, I think this is a good photo as well. The purple wall, just as a reminder, when you go through Tomorrowland Terrace on your way to Tomorrowland, the purple wall is on your right. And this one doesn't face the purple wall, first of all. It's taken in that spot. But it's actually facing the other way with Cinderella Castle and those rocks, those faux rocks they have in that area. And Cinderella Castle's in the background. What do you think of this one? What's in it? So first off, we have just, you know, some monsters at the bottom. And you are yet again looking surprised. And they're in costumes. They're sort of silly. Uh, they almost look like Jack Skellington type of character monsters. I have to be honest. For me, this is one of the worst ones. Oh, I didn't mind this one. I think this one would be great with kids, especially if the kids were dancing like the monsters it's are, right? It's great. Again, it's great with kids. When you're significantly taller than the monsters, it looks off. I would also say the monsters do sort of blend in with the rocks a little bit. It's throwing me off. Now, let's talk about some of the very coolest pictures we've seen. I don't even recall these being there in the past. And if they are, we miss them. And they're quite cool. And I definitely want to do these. And I'm going to make a point of asking for these. These are the black and white photos. Yes. And there are two of them. Please do these. Now, these ones actually do have some CGI involved in them. So if you're thinking, why do you hate all of the CGI? These ones have CGI. And these ones look... I would say quite good. So one of them has you on Main Street and you're dancing around and there's, I believe, four, or that's how many there are in the example shot. There's four skeletons, spooky, scary skeletons, some might say, dancing around in the background. Now, these are the skeletons from one of Walt Disney's or maybe his very first animation ever was these dancing skeletons. And so... You are in the middle and the skeletons are like a chorus line behind you. It's all done in black and white. Looks great because the skeleton movie was black and white, obviously. Didn't even clonk on to that. Yeah, but that's, I was that's what those skeletons are. Okay, well, I'm too young. A little Disney <laughs> history for you. <laughs> Flashing the young card. But I think it's so cool and it looks, I don't know why, but it just looks much better when it's all in black and white. I think if you have little ones, it's very fun. I know I did personally, and lots of little kids tend to like black and white photos to mix it up a little bit. So I think this is definitely a good one to get. There is another black and white photo opportunity a little bit farther down Main Street. Same thing. This one has CGI. Yeah, so the castle's in the background. Yes, this one has a full moon with some bats flying over it and lots of smoke around you. And you're kind of at the center, you or your family or your party, whoever. This one looks really good. Yeah, this is essentially a portrait. If you want an amazing black and white portrait, I would do this one alone, to be honest, just like the example photo yeah. they have. Alone, just black and white. This is where you have a somber look on your face or an evil look because that's or... what's that's what's going to go with this. This is a mood photo that I love. Why you, what do you, you, you look like you're disagreeing. No, I was just going to say, I love this photo, but I think you could kind of do whatever you want. You could do, you know, like a sinister smile. You could. If, yes, I would if, agree. That would if work. you're fine, you just could don't smile think, really like, big because you're at Disney World. I mean, I guess laughing would work. But really, if you sort of want to have fun with these, it's Halloween. Of they course, don't do much scary stuff here. But I think this photo lends itself better than any of the other ones. It does. But I think you're coming from a very adult perspective. I don't know if you told a five-year-old, look somber. Not going to see think great results. I think that would results. be pretty funny to see <laughs> okay. what the result is, actually. Oh, you know what? Yeah, maybe try that. Tell your five-year-old. Okay, so we want you to look somber in this photo. Show us your smoke. Well, your listen, they, they'll give you like five. I would love to They see. take like 
10 photos. So they would. So you, <laughs> you can, can do multiple expressions. Yes. This one, it is still the same CGI, but it looks quite good. I think honestly, for me personally, as AI is progressing very quickly, I'm just kind of waiting for Disney to get there because I know that they will yeah, at they a near will. at a near point in the future. These photos are going to look a lot better. So I'm just holding off. But some of them are very cute. Especially little kids tend to love them regardless of what they look like. Yeah. So there you so. have it. You know, remember that they're there. Don't focus so much on the rides. Like you just got to. That's why we're telling you where they are. Pick a few that you really yeah. want to do. And hey, if you like any of the photos, definitely go for them. Some of them are very cool ideas. Different people like different kinds of photos. So go for them. They do look pretty cool. Yeah. And we've got to make better use of these, as I was saying at the beginning. We take millions of PhotoPass photos and look at them once and then that's it. Yeah. Like, I guess we don't have room to frame them all, but maybe we'll post some just for fun this week. That's what I'm saying. I think I personally just forget about the animated photos, so they just don't really register with me. But if you like them and you save them, give them a shot for sure. All right, everyone. That's the news for this week. Coming to you from Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. We will have an update on this whole adventure this week and yes. tell you what we found out on our next episode. In the meantime, we'll see you again next week and have a magical day. Bye-bye.